Hello everyone. You ready for some more music time today? I hope so. I have some fun things planned. Let's start with one of our favorite uh, hello songs. I could hear you over the video. <laughs> All right. So to start out, let's do a song with some American Sign Language in it. And if you remember, sign language is what people who are deaf or very hard of hearing use to communicate. Hard of hearing means they can hear a little bit, but not as well as you and I can. And deaf means that people cannot hear at all. Their ears do not hear any sound. So they use their hands to form letters and words. Um, and we're gonna do that in a song later on too. So in our song called The Apple Tree, we're going to use a few signs over and over. The first one is tree. You put your elbow onto this hand and shake it like the leaves uh, blowing in the wind, tree. And then we're going to shake the tree. Shake. Your hands go a little bit, not like you're punching, just shaking something. And then we're going to talk about different kinds of trees. They're fruit trees. The first tree is an apple tree. And with your, your finger like this, you twist your knuckle gently into your cheek and that makes apple. And I'll bet you can guess the next type of fruit. It's a fruit with a yellow peel and you peel it. And if you guess banana, you're correct, banana. And the last fruit is a fruit that you can squeeze to make juice. An orange, that's right. So we're going to have those different types of fruit trees in our story. All right, so let's make your first tree. Way up high in the apple tree, two red apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. I forgot that last sign, didn't I? Good, you touch your chin and then bring your hand down into the other hand. Good. Okay, let's go get a banana. Way up high in the banana tree, two yellow bananas smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the bananas. Mmm, they were good. All right, this morning I felt like some orange juice. So, 
Way up high in the orange tree, two orange oranges smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the oranges. Mmm, they were good. All right, excellent. So remember, apples, banana, peel it, and an orange. We'll squeeze it to make orange juice. Very nice. So here's a song that I know you enjoy, and we were working on it for our VPK graduation. So it talks about the letters of the alphabet, and you were also learning the signs for the letters like A, B, C to go with it. Now, of course, I cannot sign and play the guitar at the same time. So if you'd like to sign, you can. You don't have to. We can just enjoy the song. <clears throat> I love my alphabet. I love my state. And I love learning. Man, it's great. Put the three together. What do you get? You get an alphabet that just won't quit. A -a alligator b -b boat. song but it's a great one it teaches us a lot of letter sounds and a lot of things that are found here in Florida good for you all right now the other day I did a video where we made some shaking instruments uh, if any of you got to watch it we made some that looked like this or however you made them would be great they didn't have to look like this it was just a paper plate with some dried rice inside it. And then 
We made some that were just empty containers from their kitchen filled with little toys that you might have around. And then a real simple one was this tiny container filled with rice, dry rice. Don't wanna put anything cooked in there, that would be yucky. Dried rice. If you were feeling artsy crafty, you could put some stickers on it, whatever you like. Just ask your, ask your parents first if it's okay to decorate. Now, here's one that I did not put in the video, but it would be fun. Uh, there's a special holiday coming up on Sunday that some of us celebrate called Easter, and you might be getting those plastic eggs in your Easter basket. So, if you wanna fill those up with a little dry rice, make sure it's dry, and your parents can tape it up for you, put it in the middle of two plastic spoons, and then ask your parents to tape it up really well for you. I use some big packing tape, like you would seal up a package to mail it from the top all the way down to the bottom. And it becomes a maraca, like the ones we use in school. But make sure you tape it from the top all the way down the bottom so it doesn't come apart. And again, if you want to put some stickers on it, you can do that. If your parents don't mind, you could decorate it with some permanent markers. And I say permanent ones because the regular markers will rub off, like the Crayola, the washable markers, they'll rub off onto your hands. But always ask if you can use the permanent ones. Don't do that on your own. So, you have a maraca if you want to use them. Another thing you can do is just get yourself a paper plate, a clean one is best, a couple of rulers or a couple of markers. Make sure they have lids on them. And that paper plate can become a drum. You could also use, again, with your parents' permission only, the, uh, the lid to a pot. So, I discovered if I tapped the, the lid, this one's made of glass, and then the handle, made a slightly different sound. So, and I like this one especially for our next song, which is called The Little Red Caboose, because it kind of reminded me of the song, the sound that a train makes. Going down the track. So, if you would like to grab something to shake or to tap while we sing this song, you can pause the video for a moment and go get something. And if you want to just sing, if you want to clap, if you want to sway, whatever makes you happy. I like this song. It makes me happy. All right. I'm going to put on my capo. Some of you will remember what the capo does. It makes all of the strings just a little bit higher. Let me demonstrate that for you. I put it up here. So here's the, here's the lowest string. I move the capo up on the neck, it gets higher and higher each time. See that? And if I move it down, it gets lower. Let's blow the whistle. Doo, doo. 
Oh, the train's going to pull into the station. So let's slow down. And we'll get ready to put on the brakes. And they sound like... Great job. Great job. All right. Now, a while ago, with some of the classes, I did this really fun rhyme. I know that especially the cougars and the dahlias enjoyed it. And it's called Don't Say Eight, which actually we should not say. <laughs> it's not a great word, but it was a really fun rhyme. And it goes like this. Don't say eight. Your mother will faint. Your father will fall in a bucket of paint. Your brother will sigh. Your sister will cry. The cat and dog will say goodbye. Silly, right? Lots of great rhyming words, you think? And great rhythm. So let's say it one more time. If it's new to you, just listen. If you kind of remember it, you can try it with me. And I'm going to tap gently on my legs while I say it. Not, not too fast, just trying to keep the beat. The beat is as if you were walking along and saying the rhyme. Don't say ain't, your mother will faint. Your father will fall in a bucket of paint. Your brother will sigh. Your sister will cry. The cat and dog will say goodbye. Now, I'm going to speed up my hands. I'm not going to say it any faster. The only thing that's getting faster is my tapping. Don't say ain't. Your mother will faint. Your father will fall in a bucket of paint. Your brother will sigh. Your sister will cry. The cat and dog will say goodbye. Okay, good. Now, if you want to get something to tap on, like the paper plate and say a couple of markers to use for drumsticks, Go ahead. If you want to get something filled with some small objects to shake, let's do that. You can pause the video if you want to go get something. And if you want to just keep tapping on your knees, clapping your hands, that's great too. Whatever helps you to keep the beat. I'm going to hold my, my plate kind of up here so you can see what I'm doing. And hopefully it will stay there. Don't say ain't, your mother will faint. Your father will fall in a bucket of paint. Your brother will sigh, your sister will cry. The cat and dog will say goodbye. Now, let's try one at a time. Don't say ain't, your mother will faint. Your father will fall in a bucket of paint. Your brother will sigh, your sister will cry, the cat and dog will say goodbye. You see how we end on that last word, bye, then we're all done. Then, if you want to watch this video again, you can try other things like maybe clapping and tapping. Um, a nice way to get a little, a little change in there, maybe tap, tap, clap, clap. Don't say ain't, your mother will faint. Your father will fall in a bucket of paint. Your brother will sigh, your sister will cry. The cat and dog will say goodbye. See, on that last word, we stop. Excellent. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a fun rhyme. And please, don't say ain't. <laughs>
All right, my friends, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to also send a, a letter to your families about some new music videos you can watch on YouTube that will keep you up and dancing and give you a little more to do to get rid of some of that energy. Goodbye, everybody, time to go. Goodbye, everybody, time to go. Goodbye, see you later. Here at Baby Gator. Goodbye, everybody, time to go. Okay, friends, I'll see you really soon. Stay well.